In this video, we'll be telling about how to start new GPay account or Google Pay account in your smartphone itself. For this, first what we need to do is, you need to install GPay or Google Pay application from Play Store. In most of the Android phones, this application will come as default application. Anyways, if that app is not there in your phone, install that app from Google Play Store. App link is given in the description, you can check it out from there. Anyways, before starting GPay, some important thing you should keep in mind. First important thing is that to start Google Pay account, your phone number and bank account should be linked. If your phone number is not linked with your bank account, what you need to do is go to bank and ask them to link your phone number with your account. And in some cases, your account will be linked with a mobile number, but that mobile number may be old number. In that case also, you need to go to bank and change that phone number to your new phone number. Second thing is that when you are setting up Google Pay, while setting up you need to have that sim in your phone. After setting up you can change that sim and use different sim but during setting up you need to have that sim in your smartphone. And one thing is that online banking services should be activated in your account. And sometimes you may need to enter your account details manually. In that case you may also need ATM card. So these things you should keep in mind. Anyways after everything is set what you need to do is install GPay application. And after installing GPay application, open GPay application. When you are opening GPay application for the first time, you will be asked to enter your phone number. Important thing you should keep in mind is that the phone number which is linked with your account should be given here. In my case, this is the phone number. After entering that phone number, down here you can see continue option, click on continue. When you are clicking on continue, you can see choose an account. If you want to change your email id, you can change that. To change email id, click on this button and here you can select whichever email id you want. For example, I am selecting this email id. Anyways, after selecting email id, down here you can see accept and continue, click on accept and continue. When you are clicking on that, you can see verifying. Everything will be done automatically, wait for few seconds. Now here you can see verified. And you can see one option activate your bank account. To activate your bank account down here you can see one option activate my bank. Click on activate my bank. When you are clicking on that you need to give some permissions. Click on allow. After that you need to select this sim. This number is in the first sim. So I am selecting sim 1 and after that click on continue. When you are clicking on continue again you need to give some permissions. They are asking for SMS permission. Click allow. Now you can see sending SMS and verifying number. Now you can see bank account activated. So bank account is activated. Now what you need to do is down here you can see set up UPI number. Click on set up UPI number. When you are clicking on that you will reach a new page. In my case already I am having an UPI number. If you don't have UPI number what you need to do is you need to set one password. You need to set a six digit password. First you need to enter that password. Again you need to confirm that password and UPI number is set. Anyways after that click next. After that you can see lock options. If you want to use screen lock you can use that or if you want to use different 4 digit pin you can do that also. Anyways I am selecting screen lock. After that click on continue. It's better to give different 4 digit google pin. Anyways after that I am clicking on continue. When you are clicking on continue you can see a page like this. You need to confirm your identity by using your pin code or your fingerprint sensor. For example I am using fingerprint sensor. Now google pay app will be opened. Now you can use Google Pay application. And one thing is that in my case account has been added automatically. If that is not happening what you need to do is click on your profile button. When you are clicking on profile button you can see one option bank account. Click on bank account. Here already one account is added. If account is not there what you need to do is here you can see one option add bank account. Click on add bank account. After that you need to select your bank. In my case it is state bank of India. I am selecting state bank of India. After that here you can see continue option click on continue. When you are clicking on that here you can see you have already added all account registered with this mobile number and bank. In most of the case it will detect automatically. Because I have already added account this is showing like this. If you have not added it will automatically detect and add that account to Google Pay. Anyways now Google Pay account is set. If you want to use you can use. Here scanning option is there when you are clicking on this for the first time. You need to give some permission click on turn on camera. And here you need to give permission. After that you can see scanning option. And if you want to pay to contact you can do that. Or if you want to pay to mobile number you can do that also. And first time when you are opening you need to give some permissions. And if you want to transfer to bank account you can do that also. Bank transfer option is also there. So this way you can start new Google Pay account in your smartphone. 
hope this video was helpful for you if you find it helpful consider subscribing see you in the next video